Just finished my revival path. Notice yesterday, it says I have 24 hours to purchase the elite pass before it's gone. Doesn't have the timer anymore, so I'm not sure. Is it worth the buy? Is this a good value? This is the elite revival pass. So for those of you who don't know, you basically don't log in for a long time and you get all these rewards. And in order to get to this, I think you have to spend a certain amount of money and then it unlocks after not logging in for a little bit. But uh, this is going to be sort of a, a mini guide for anybody who's interested. So Polarium's website actually has a guide on the revival path. Basics. The revival path is a feature that can help you continue your in-game progress after being away from raid for a long time. As you work through the revival path, you can earn many useful items like silver, energy, artifacts, and more. There is no time limit for when you need to complete the revival path by. So you see right here, it shows up. Actually, I can even show you on my third account right here. Boom, revival path shows up. And the way to do it is you have these quests here and they offer you some points towards the revival thing that these are the revival path points okay you also get some extra boosts here and um oh yeah so there's actually in-game guides here so you can earn revival path points by completing daily weekly and revival quests you will increase your revival path for every 21 revival path points earned each level contains rewards and so that would look like, um, basically, if you go to your quests, you can see here, like, oh, here's three points here, three points here. If you're wondering about that, that's that's what that is. If you haven't logged in for a while, or you came back to raid, this is what that is. You know, you summon three champions, for an example. You finish that quest, knock that out, boom. You get your three here. You level up a champion. One, two, three, boom. Now you got another three points, and it all stacks into... Here, look at that, we reached level 47. We get some, some energy. So I think just off the rip, looking at this, I think it's worth it. Like if you're gonna be a spender in the game, if you're gonna pay and you know that that's just the kind of guy you are and that's what you wanna do within raid, no judgment, no shade. I, I think this is like one of the best, if not the best value you can get. Like you're getting gear, six star, six star um, epic and legendary gear sacred shard a champion in elva i think you can choose between three champions i think it's elva and like two other champions that you can choose from i don't remember who they are soul stones you get uh, sand devil drops oils you have these uh, doom tower keys if you want to use if you want to progress in doom tower a lot faster instead of waiting an entire day energy pots more gear soul stones uh ores Ores are pretty big too. It's, uh, Swift parry gear. So, you know, it, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm looking at this and I'm I'm saying to myself like eh, maybe you know twenty bucks won't hurt. I haven't spent any money in raid in a long time, and um, I'm a little enticed right now. This right here is a arena ticket. So when you don't play for a long time, obviously you drop all the way down to bronze, like four or something. But this will bring you right back to gold five. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Oh, there's also this. There's also this purchase rewards. If you spend any money in raid, you get these extra um, things here. Rewards, playing points, silver, energy. And then you also get, because the revival pass is 20 bucks and this is only 15, uh, you get second tier, which is another shard, more chickens and brews. So, you know, there's, there's that extra stuff to entice you even further. Uh, where is it? Over here. So you progress, you do the quest, and uh, there are two layers. Okay, the basic and elite, we just talked about that. All players will automatically get the basic free version, and then you also have the chance to get the other things. You can buy levels if you want to. And uh, that's basically it. But the issue here is that it doesn't really delve into a specific time. I don't know why they don't say specifically. Maybe it's to prevent people from specifically hacking the system and taking advantage of it to get a free elva or not a sorry not a free elva a guaranteed elva but um it says raid stay away from raid for a long time but i found this here which coincides with everything going on 
I wanted to see what people would say. Elva is an incredible champion. All the other stuff in there could have an argument made for it being worth 20 bucks alone. I don't know if I'm one of those, but I get it. I, on the other hand, would argue that Elva alone is worth 20 bucks. If you're even entertaining the idea, I say go for it. Best deal you'll get in the game. And for those of you wondering, you know, what does Elva do? Why is she, why is she such a, a, a good champion? Great support champion, right? So here she is, Elva, Sylvan Watchers, A1, continuous heals, uh, debuff removal, increase speed, revive with increased attack and defense, and then heals allies by 10% of their max HP at the start of their turn, places a perfect veil buff on one ally with the lowest HP at the end of this champion's turn, and then speed aura um, boost by 19%. Overall, just the great champion going pretty fast at 110 superb champion like there there's um there's been comparisons i've uh love my wife i've seen to duchess because she just brings that especially if you're struggling in the sylvan watchers faction and don't have a reviver or a healer she could definitely help you out but there's a lot of those in the sylvan watchers like i struggled in faction wars 21 to get damage dealers but i eventually um got damage dealers in arwid and uh, Daithi. And Creedon actually helped out, but not so much of a, as a damage dealer, and then Ruella as well. I've even seen people build out Turlac and Kate. Was it Turlac? I think it might have been Kate. But yeah, so I'm, I'm on the fence here. I don't know if that's... I don't know if this is something that I, I want to end up buying, but I'm also, like, really tempted to because it's 20 bucks, and you get so much out of it. But the down the other thing is just like one I haven't spent in raided in a long time, and it is my third account. Like wh how much you know what I mean? How much more is it going to give me other than another Elva and some extra rewards? But it's also like hey, it's kind of you know too good to pass up. This is a deal good enough that I've literally thought about skipping a crap fusion and not log. By the way, where's the dog? Where's the dog that they promised us? to go with Packmaster, not logging in for 30 days just so I could get it. And if I would have, and I would have if someone, anyone knew exactly how long it takes to trigger. Trying to Google it led me down a deep enough Reddit rabbit hole that I'm clearly not the first to have this idea. He says, longer than 30 days, stay away from raid, don't log in for longer than 30 days, and shorter than 90 if that helps. How could you be sure if the minimum is longer than 30? I swear I came across at least a dozen people saying it's three weeks, 21 days. I would doubt it's that quick personally, but you'd think someone would have figured it out this way by now. I can confirm it's been 21 days. I have two alt accounts inactive for 21 days, but the offer was only offered to one. Not sure why. I think it might be if you spent on one or not. Uh, let's see. Just did it. Minimum is 21 days on the dot. Let's see. Oh, uh, 50... Oh, he says, what level was your account? Was there any difference in level between the two periods of inactivity? Level 50 on both. Uh, so I guess level doesn't matter. Best value in game if you intend to play. This guy corrected him. Best value in the game if you intend to pay. <laughs> Some people spend hundreds of bucks just to get it from shard pulls. That's true. Only to get dupe epics. 100% worth the price. Apparently my internet just could fucking dipped on me what is going on that's perfect perfect timing uh if you're a spender it's incredible value compared to shards or other packs this is the only money i've spent in game since i've returned about two months i said i wasn't going to spend anything playing this game but this one thing was enough to convince me i would definitely say it's worth it yeah it's a lot how long do you have before it goes away after being inactive oh how long do you have to go away before this offer pops up three weeks due to it being popped up when i came back so people are saying three weeks People are saying three weeks up to 90 days. It's 21 days exactly, but you're not guaranteed to get Elva. There's different tiers of return quests. Elva is for the highest accounts. Don't quote me on this. You have to be 60 or higher. I was level 100 when I got it, so I honestly can't tell you. I have a ton of alts below 50. Many have gotten months without playing. They came back to lesser deals. My feeder accounts received this offer at level 50. You get it after two months. Read somewhere two months after staying away from the game. Elva's an incredible champion. I'd pay more for her. I don't know. I don't know about that. Like, I'm on the on my third account here. Like, I'm... It's not anywhere close to my 
my main or my you know i mean my my more stacked accounts that i've spent a lot more money on and been playing on for a lot longer but here i don't know how much value it's going to bring me if i do intend to buy it because like i already have elva right i've already got elva here right awesome champion i don't use it for anything however i do believe there's two other champions that are offered and you know everything here is just of great incredible value right like this is just this is a lot of stuff this is essentially worth like i don't know months of farming almost right because maybe i'm maybe i'm overextending it maybe it's not months of farming like the energy is kind of eh, you know I, i'll take it it's cool multi battles or whatever silver is kind of whatever you're not gonna be gonna get too far with it bruise or whatever 50 percent gear reduction cost is whatever because they do it once a month now arena tokens whatever potions whatever uh clan quest things it's kind of whatever these are i place high value on these here the epic reroll ores you know this is okay that's whatever mystery gear divine gear six stars but that's only like if you get speed like gear's hard to to really quantify as good because it's such a toss-up um you get these two but like you can honestly get these from doing clan uh doing work in the clan because sometimes it pops up to buy but still that's good i would take that and uh more gear more chaos ores more gear ores like this is pretty good the oils from the sand devil but also you could just farm sand devil and then soul stones and then a shard with Elva. And I wish they would show me what other two options there are here. Someone put me in a coma for 21 days so I can wake up and have this offer. I just spent time leveling alt referrals while taking a break on the main to get it. Worth it for Elva, best value in the game, insanely good in nearly every aspect of the game, one of the best deals you'll ever get. Elva is usable in so many areas. Still user my CB team, second Hydra. I believe it pops up after 21 days. So a lot of people are saying... 21 days i wish you could buy champs for only 19.99 i got this after a few years of break people have mentioned it, that it pops up 21 days after so i don't know maybe like you just don't log in for 21 days can anybody confirm this elva is a better healer and sill is a better crowd control with healing if you have elva 100 get it a 60 in my opinion a bit different but definitely better at healing her a1 blah 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 sills a little different Heal and Revive is not as good, but she has an AoE stun, decreased speed, turn meter control on the A1, one champions. Yeah, they both are really good, but they also both do kind of the same thing differently and bring different things to the tables. To the table. Stop spending, it's not healthy. That's true. 